Hey everybody, what's going on? And thank you so much for joining me today. In week four, we're gonna be talking about monitoring on call and application performance monitoring. So as I'm sure you probably know because you've been reading a ton of stuff and not just watching this video, there's so many different pieces of information out there around monitoring, on call, etc. We're not gonna be able to get through all of it in a you know couple minute video, five to six minute video. But I'm going to go over with you what I think is probably a good place to get started. So first, for application performance monitoring, system monitoring, service monitoring, container monitoring, we have Datadog. Now, Datadog is probably one of the most popular, and so is New Relic. You can see right here. But do keep in mind, Datadog is ridiculously expensive. If you connect it to, say, you know, your AWS account, you will rack up bills so just be prepared for that i mean i've seen like six seven hundred dollar bills in like a few days it's, it's pretty wild so instead of doing that maybe just you know get in configure some stuff but you know maybe don't configure like your full aws account for example so i'm here i set up a free trial or a free account rather because there is you know free tier of datadog but it's not actually free because you just get charged in a, in a ridiculous aws bill so First things first, it asks, you know, what stack are you using? So I'm going to say I'm using AWS and Docker, just as an example. Okay. Other tools and services you want to see in Datadog so you can give some recommendations. How many servers does your organization manage? I'll say, you know, maybe uh, one, for example. Are you a managed service provider, hosting provider? No. What's your first goal with Datadog? Testing APM. I'll click next here. And then as you can see, it's going to want us to install our first Datadog agent. So our Datadog agent is going to be what's going to be installed on the server, on the system, et cetera, to be able to retrieve that information. So let's say we choose like Kubernetes, for example. Let me just zoom in here. Let's say we choose Kubernetes. It's going to tell us how to install it on our cluster. So for example, you're going to have to use Helm and install this Helm chart on your Kubernetes cluster, and then it's gonna contain all of the pods and the deployments that are running. If you wanna install it on Ubuntu, for example, just on a server, you can do that as well. You can install it a bunch of different places. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this home button here. And as we can see, we have a bunch of different options. I you know, have this 14 day trial here, but I can create a dashboard. If I wanna be able to see different widgets for events that are happening on apps, systems, hosts, containers, all of it. I can create different types of monitors and get alerts via email. I can invite some teammates and I can even install different integrations. So if I click on install integrations, for example, I can see what integrations are available. So like an Active Directory integration, Apache Airflow, Let's see what else we got. Alibaba Cloud, Amazon Security. So there's like all the different Amazon services. So any AWS service you can connect to Datadog and then you can monitor it. And then you have a few different options up here for watchdog, events, dashboards, the infrastructure host. So, you know, your infrastructure, infrastructure list, containers, serverless. I've primarily used Datadog for serverless so I can see like invocation errors and stuff like that. And I can tell you it's definitely good for sure. Just again, keep in mind that, you know, it does contain a cost. Next, you have your monitors, your metrics, integrations and APIs, APM stuff. So application performance management here, and then a whole bunch of other stuff here, like logs and security and all that good stuff. So if you want to kind of figure out, you know, mess around with Datadog, what you can do is you can literally just go to datadog.com right click on free trial and then sign up next let's talk about alerting so I probably nine times out of ten typically use PagerDuty PagerDuty actually has a ridiculously cool free product like they have their own version of free where I think you can have like maybe one team member but you can set up all like pretty much all of the alerts that you want like anything like SMS uh, email you can set it all up for free. It's actually really cool. So what I would use PagerDuty for is for those on-call alerts, you know, something happens, a server is down, something like that. Now, a few other really cool things are, for example, automation. So Rundeck. 
run deck think of it like automated run book so instead of a manual run book where somebody has to follow instructions to go fix something you can create automated run books that way it can go in and fix it for you using code and then you have different things like event rules so it's kind of like if else statements so if i click create and i'll just do you know test test for example create rule set oh, oh it's already taken <laughs> i already did that all right, let's do that. And then at this point, you know, I can do like a new event rule. And then for example, I can say run this rule when one of the conditions are met. So we could say, you know, from address contains Mike, I don't know. You could, we can add that condition. And then you can say do things. So it can create an incident on a service. It can suppress an alert. So there's a ton of automation here as well, but the one thing to keep in mind with PagerDuty is you want to use it for any on-call alert. So something that's happening that you want to get alerted for. Next, let's talk about monitoring. So Datadog, for example, New Relic, they're all monitoring tools, but you do have some monitoring tools built into your cloud platforms. So with AWS, for example, you can use CloudWatch. CloudWatch is an awesome monitoring tool. You could pretty much monitor every AWS service. So any errors that occur in EC2 instances, any errors that occur in serverless, anything like that. You can see I have a, you can see metrics, you can see logs, you can create alarms, you can even set billing alarms. So like let's say your I don't know, subscription goes over like $50 a month or something like that. You, like you can get an alarm for that. You could do application monitoring, so it's like its own little APM stuff here. Rum is new. I think it was actually talked about in AWS reInvent for this year, which is interesting. So there's a few different APM services here as well, which you can play around with. Okay, and then next we have Azure, and Azure has Azure Monitor. And it's pretty much the same thing as CloudWatch. You know, you can set up insights for any applications, you can monitor them, get any logs for virtual machines, storage counts, containers, network. SQL servers, pretty much anything you want. So to get started with monitoring, if you already have Azure AWS set up, definitely check out CloudWatch and Azure Monitor. From an APM systems monitoring, serverless monitoring, definitely check out Datadog. Again, just remember to keep in mind the cost point there. And then if you wanna play around with setting up alerts, getting SMS texts, uh, getting emails, all that stuff, definitely check out the free version of PagerDuty. And with that, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.